I am a actor. I'm a physician. I practice emergency medicine. I work at BuzzFeed. And I teach high school math. There's nowhere we'd rather be right now than taking this awful, awful test. We take the SATs in high school, right? See, this is already going bad. I studied for probably an entire year for this exam. I didn't study like a lot of the other folks. My father got this video where it taught sense memory. If you smell an apple, you'll remember certain phrases and words and uh, equations. So I brought my apple today. I am a teacher and I do value standardized testing, but I also think that the SATs advantage privileged populations. And so students who don't have the opportunity to take extra classes won't do as well, which isn't fair. All right, let's do it. I'm ready. Can you show the seven in it? I don't know, I don't want to say it out loud, but that's my general attitude, so. He said this. <laughs> I wrote about Hitler, this can't be good. I wrote about rappers, so. But like, what I wrote was kind of like what Kanye would say. So I'm very confident in what I wrote. All right, question 17 in section two. In the XY plane, which I have no idea what that is anymore, the line L passes through the origin, and is what is an origin? Harry Potter family symbol or something like that. You guys are in number six? Look at that. Ketchup. <laughs> this is important. Sentence three. The harmful effects of smoking on the vascular system are increasingly well documented. That's a fact. Whoever wrote these paragraphs sounds like a complete douchebag when they write. Yeah, I think it's written in the most convoluted way possible to test your reading comprehension, but in fact, it's just, it's like bad writing. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> this is so bad. All right. That's not as bad as I thought. Hey, I'll take it. My math is lower than everything else, which is horribly embarrassing, <laughs> even though I scored pretty good. So in high school, I had a perfect score in math, and it's my worst score here. Failed at math. For me personally, I don't think it's gonna change anything at this point. You know, I'm not planning on going back to undergrad. I think I've done enough school at this point. It was more a test of who knew the tricks around the problems rather than how smart you actually are. I think it's good to have a standardized test, honestly, but uh, don't stress too much about it. I mean, do well enough to get into undergrad or whatever, but once you're there, just work hard there. So your life is not defined by any one score. This person spelled Kevin wrong. She, he gets an F in critical reading.